Network, home of the high school basketball starting five and best overall sports coverage in the Valley. This is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week, sponsored by Stadium GM on My YTV. the friendly confines of historic Struthers Fieldhouse. It is a live presentation of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Tonight the spotlight shines on the Northeast 8 Conference as Gerard at 6-3 and three pays a visit to 4-5 and five Struthers. Hi again everybody, Chad Prispinski alongside Will Klusenik. Let's take a look at our keys to the game which are brought to you by Avalon downtown. First of all, limit the looks. We have some tremendous shooters on both sides. Both teams will be looking to guard the perimeter. Likewise, both teams looking to find that shooting touch. And both the Indians and Wildcats looking to keep pace in the NEA. They're in need of a win to keep pace with Poland in the conference. A loss would give either team a third setback in conference play. Of course, we had an earlier look at these two teams at the United Way Holiday Basketball Classic, and both of them have continued to grind it out. Gerard, as you look at those folks dressed in red, there without one of the best players in the entire area, Austin O'Hara, out for the season with a broken leg. That's a huge loss, Will. Absolutely. And actually, I was at that game against Salem when he uh, broke his fibula. Again, just gut-wrenching, not only for this team, but uh, for the kid, unbelievable kid, unbelievable family. You absolutely feel for him. As we get you set for the opening tip, we'll get to those starting lineups here in just a moment. As we inch ever closer to tonight's opening tip-off between Gerard and Struthers. Of course, we saw Dandy just a couple of days ago in girls' action as Ursuline topped West Branch by four. For Struthers, they will send out a backcourt that looks this way. Brandon Washington, Kevin Trailer, and Carson Ryan, the Division I recruit. Jared Lasko is at one forward, and the sharpshooter Trey Metzka is at the other. For Gerard, they will send out a backcourt that includes Adam Conley, Austin Clausell, and Christian Graziano. Matt Payich underneath is joined by Terrence Davis. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some high school basketball on high school basketball's biggest stage. Gerard and Struthers doing battle. Of course, you see there Michael Wernicke in his first year heading up the Wildcats program, previously served as an assistant coach under Jerry Slocum at Youngstown State. So here we go, set to jump it up for Gerard will be Matt Payich. And Jared Lasko for the Wildcats. And here we go. Now the opening tip is controlled by the Wildcats and we're underway here at Struthers Fieldhouse. Glad you're with us on this Friday night. Brandon Washington onto the wing. They work it now underneath. This is Ryan fighting it up off the rim. It won't go. And a rebound down to the Indians. They'll sprint it up the floor. Clausell behind the back. Lightning quick speed. 
Quassell can light up the scoring column. Three ball up and good for Quassell right on cue. And that's a nice rhythm to that offense early on. Just a few handoffs, getting a few touches, knocks down the quick three. Three zip in favor of the Indians. Brandon Washington, just a sophomore, very athletic. Makes it back around to the right side. Top of the key, this is Lasco. They feed it underneath for Washington, who puts it up and it bounces in. Those are two point blank shots for the Wildcats, trying to get off to a quick start, good start. Those are two good possessions. Davis, pass it over to Graziano. Into the hands of Connolly. And now here's Payich who has good touch around the basket and on the perimeter. 3-2 is our score in favor of the Indians. They feed it underneath. In traffic, it's Graziano. He whips it out onto the wing, now to the top of the key. Gerard very patient in the early moments of this ball game. Graziano is cut off, and he's tied up, and there's a whistle and a Struthers foul. And you can see Gerard being very patient, you know, trying to get some two cutters through there, running a little bit of soft action, maybe trying to get Struthers sleeping on some of those cuts. Brandon Washington called for the personal. First foul of the night. And the Indians have it from the wing. Three ball off the back edge. No good from Clausell. And here comes Struthers back up the other way. Right wing, trailer for three off the top of the backboard. And... It's rolled out of bounds, and it'll go back to the folks in red. Your favorite, that oh, bracing man. right above the basket. Man, I just don't know about what we could do with that and here in 2019, Chad. Clausell onto the wing. It's Conley underneath Pay. It's loose ball taken away. Here is Lesko. We put it in. And that's exactly the start that Struthers needed to get a little bit of that confidence. You know, we talked early on about you know, getting off to that early start, making some buckets, seeing it go in the hole. And they've got some quality shots, some easy runouts right in the beginning here. 4-3 is our score. There's another turnover. Wildcats back up the other way. Carson Ryan, line lane, trailer firing, three ball off the rim, no good. And the rebound down to Clausell. Here comes Gerard behind the back. Clausell pitches it to Graziano. And now Clausell will set things up. We're down to 515 and counting in the opening minutes of the first quarter on this Friday night. Clausell for three, got it! Really likes that foul on extended right near the three-point area. Excellent job of penetrating, kicking it back out for his second three tonight. 6-4, Indians with the lead. Carson Ryan feeding Metzka, who fought it up and in. That's the second nice pass by Carson Ryan. Excellent cut by Metzka. Another high percentage shot. Metzka known as a three-point bombardier. That time he went to the rack, however. Gerard Ball, Graziano, outside Conley for three, offline. The rebound down to Trailer. Come the Wildcats, Metzka, Trailer, Washington. Off the dribble, Carson Ryan walked with it. That's the first miscue for the Wildcats, and as we expected, both teams shooting the ball well. A pretty efficient game so far. And we are tied at six. Ball is in the hands of Graziano. Back to Conley from that free throw line. Double clutch off the glass and in. Banks still open late in Struthers. Indians by two. Carson Ryan. Bounce pass underneath, taken away by Davis. Here come the Indians up the floor. Clausell, it's taken away, loose on the floor, and it is a whistle and a foul. And it comes with 3.46 left to play. Here in quarter number one. And 8-6 is our score, and we'll take time out, bring you back to Struthers Fieldhouse after this of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. 
Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. Everything is new and exciting at the award-winning Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Find new roads to the area's finest selection of Chevys and enjoy great lease deals like a new 2019 Trax for as low as $164 a month. And that's with zero down. Or drive away in a new 2019 Equinox for just $213 a month with zero down. Truck buyers, stop down and see over 100 of the all-new redesigned Chevy Silverado pickups and say big. Visit us on the web at stadiumgm.com or come down to the Stadium GM Superstore in Salem and save. Turn your house into a dream home with Pebblestone. Ugly concrete? Cover it with Pebblestone. Like a beautiful stone carpet, Pebblestone is easy to clean and covers broken or pitted concrete. Installed in one day in any weather condition. Transform your messy basement or garage into a gorgeous living space. Best of all, we do all the work. From moving your items, preparing and cleaning, to installation and organization. Call today for a free steel organizational system with your purchase of a Pebblestone floor. For luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford, trust the Valley's own Pebblestone. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria proudly supports all Valley teams this high school basketball season. Come see us for the best pizza downtown off Federal Street in Youngstown. Pretty good crowd on hand here on this Friday night, 346 to play. Here in quarter number one, at the moment, it's Gerard with a two-point lead over Struthers at 8-6. Chad Krasminski, Will Klusenik back with you out of the timeout. Indians basketball. Flossell is cut off at the top of the key. And now it's over to Graziano. Outside the three-point line, way back outside to Klossell. Zone defense for the Wildcats. Topside, Klossel fake the three, penetrates into the paint, stops. And now works it back out to Payich. They swing it around to Graziano. Graziano over to Klossel. Ball fake, left wing, Graziano. 3-12 left. Gerard very deliberate, very patient. We've got a tremendous coach just to our left in Craig Hannon. Yeah, I really like how they're being patient, you know, getting the shot that they want. You know, and not taking the, the contested shot and really trying to work it. And sometimes against the zone, you've got to go a little inside out, get it to the baseline, you know, and maybe throw a little skip here to get it. Cross-court skip pass to Conley. Graziano into Davis. Pinball basketball. And after all of that, we have a whistle and a foul that'll be tagged to Terrence Davis. That's good ball movement. You get the skip, you get it to the baseline, you try to distort the zone that way. You gotta make sure you have the flippers ready. Make sure you can catch it. First foul on Davis. Struthers, two team fouls, Gerard with one. Carson Ryan backing in, back out front to Lasco. Carson Ryan, great positioning, and he stuck it in. Carson Ryan coming off the shuffle cut, and the double screen away. Action coming as well, but Carson Ryan with the finish. 8-8 eight, eight is our score. Clausel to Graziano. Topside Conley, traveling called. And it'll go back to Struthers. Been real impressed right now with Struthers. Getting a lot of quality looks. High percentage shots. You know, a lot of points in the paint right now. Underneath Metzka, he too walked with the ball. And with 2.07 to play in the opening quarter, a couple of turnovers on back-to-back -back plays. Gives it right back to the Indians. Up at the top of the key, Clausel Works it back to Conley. There's a takeaway by Brandon Washington of Struthers. Wildcats quickly back up the floor. Lasco now Washington. Washington slices his way into the paint off the front edge of the rim. No good. Indians will push. Glossel to the line, to the lane, and it's a foul called on the floor. But we saw this team from Gerard back in December at the United Way Holiday Classic. And again, when you miss a big gun like O'Hara, and who knows if he'll be back, he may. But that's a big player to be missing from the lineup. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of not only points, but a lot of leadership as well. You know, and I, I see he's in the building uh, also. And at, again, 19 points a game. Uh, you know, and, and we talk about all the time where, you know, as a, as a team, someone else has got to fill that void. But it's definitely a tough one to fill. Glossell has done a good job of that scoring as the ball is tapped back 
And Gerard will track it down and now set something up. 122 left. Marco Donatelli has checked in for Gerard off the bench. And now the Indians will slow the pace up and remain patient. We've also got number uh, 13 for the Wildcats, Noah Patty. So these two teams trying to... Pretty content here right now. They're content. They want to get things back on track. Struthers has dropped four of the last six matchups, including Tuesday night's game against South Range, 57. 38. The Indians, meanwhile, have lost three of the last four since opening the season. Five and zero. Oh. This makes for a pretty efficient game. Keeps the pace moving along, that's for sure. Down to 20 seconds left. And soon, things will be put into working order. 8-8 eight, eight is our score. Inside of 10 seconds left, Clausel picks up his dribble out to Graziano. Onto the right wing, three ball in the air, no good, and it is a foul called against Struthers on a three-point attempt with 2.8 seconds left. Mike Wernicke is not happy. We'll get another look at it here. And if anything, it's probably after the shot as well. On the box out, I think it's... You know, so he probably shouldn't be getting three shots there. It's after the shot should have just been... Uh, a, a foul, if anything, but he's going to get three. So Matt Payich is going to head to the free throw line. Payich averaging just over 11 points a game. And he is a 57% free throw shooter. And he gives Gerard a 9-8 advantage. And he'll try to knock the second one in as well. And Payich does. And it's 10-8. And one more coming for Page On the foul. Off the three-point attempt. Page Ready, aim, fires. Good. Terrence Davis will check back in. Donatelli will head to the bench. 2.8 seconds left. The trigger man is Trey Metzka. Metzka with the baseball pass, tapped up into the air. It's controlled by Lasko, loose on the floor, and the clock didn't start. Pay it, fires out the buzzer. And Craig Hannon is not happy because the clock did not start when the ball was touched. Eight minutes in the books. Gerard by three and the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. Bring your family and enjoy the food, fun, and drinks at the Elmton. You won't find better service with affordable prices for the entire family anywhere else in the Valley. Serving up great food and hospitality since 1945. The Elmton, 5th Street, Struthers. Hi, Rob Bellman for Borman Subaru. We're excited about two new vehicles that have just arrived in our showroom. The 2019 Subaru Ascent, the biggest Subaru ever, with three rows of flexible seating with space for seven or eight, and the all-new 2019 Subaru Forester. New and improved with eyesight and driver-focused technology that alerts distracted drivers. And remember, Subaru is the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive vehicle in America. Only at Borman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. Whether you are married, single, or in a relationship, dealing with life, love, and relationships can be strenuous. That's where the Warriors, Inc. Love, Life, and Relationships Enrichment Seminar can help. Sign up today. You'll learn the essential tools to produce healthy, loving relationships. February 9th at the Holiday Inn in Boardman. Package includes a continental breakfast, seminar, a dinner and dance, and live entertainment. Register today online at eventbrite.com or call by January 26th to reserve your spot today. Snow day, two words that make people feel different emotions. He can't contain his excitement, while dad on the other hand is already late for work. No matter what your reaction, I'll be there working hard to keep your family safe. 
And I'll be pinpointing the winter weather as it moves into our communities in the evenings. 33 WYTV, your home for school closings and delays on TV, online, and on your phone. Sponsored by Dallas Hartman Attorneys at Law, Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, and Teal College. Cap your pen, Castle. There's been a murder. A new case every time. I think I know who killed him. Look at you thinking like a real cop. It takes two minds to solve a crime. Castle. Saturdays at 10. Bring your family and enjoy the food, fun, and drinks at the Elmton. See their Facebook page for daily specials. And be sure to try their pizza, spaghetti, and famous roasted chicken. Serving up great food and hospitality since 1945. The Elmton, 5th Street Struthers. You can always count on student sections from both sides to be up to snuff, up to par. Plenty of energy and enthusiasm as we welcome you back to Struthers Fieldhouse. All set for the second quarter. Gerard with an 11-8 lead. Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenik back with you. Indians open things up in quarter number two with the ball. Page in the middle of the paint. Puts it up and in. Tried to run a little back door. Had the pitch run over the loop. Gets the easy bucket. 13-8 is our score. Ryan. Over to Washington on the wing. There's Lasko and now Trailer. Carson Ryan. It's a dual threat, can shoot from the outside and get to the rim as well. Washington short off the miss. Glossell with a rebound for Gerard. Glossell in some trouble, but works it back out front. There's Graziano, he fakes the three. That's the one thing, they're not going to force things, they're not going to rush things, ever. Yeah, they're definitely very patient. And Gerard's getting the looks that they want. Davis. Over to Conley. Here's Payich in rhythm for three. Off the rim, no good. Davis cleans it up and puts it up. Off the iron, no good. From point blank range. And here comes Brandon Washington over to Ryan. Carson Ryan back out front. Trey Metzka thought about the three. Good defense from Gerard there, however. As you're watching guys come off the screens, you want to be coming late off these screens. It's a little bit too quick. You know, you got to make sure you're trying to read the defense as you're going by these screens. This is Trailer feeding it to Lasko. 4-3, too strong. And the rebound down to Payich for Gerard. There's Glossel slicing right of the lane. Back outside to Conley, who tracks down the errant pass. Conley. Feed into the corner for three. It's up and good for Klossel. Klossel had a little something to say to the bench as well. 16-8 is our score. Timeout on the floor. We will keep it here with 5.54 to play. Here in quarter number two. Every week we'll pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact during our game of the week. The player of the game is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Pebblestone Flooring and will feature the player of the game every Monday night at 6 on WKBN 27 First News. It's been a very competitive basketball game to this point. Eight-point lead at the moment for Gerard. Again, probably the biggest difference right now is Clausel. He's three of four from three. And again, you're talking about somebody stepping up in the absence of one of the big guns, be it Austin O'Hara or whomever. And that's exactly what Clausel has done. He stepped right in there and come up big. This is Ryan feeding it to Lasko. And now back onto the wing trailer. Ryan whips it. Trey Metzka. Over to Ryan, into the corner. Lasko, back to trailer for three, got it! Excellent ball movement, very unselfish by the Wildcats. Because of the ball movement, they get the wide open three. The lead is still five for Gerard. at 16 to 11. Conley, and now Graziano. Little high on the clip there. Number 14 for Gerard Davis. Got the elbows up pretty high. Glazell, he checked for three. That time he missed. And Parson Ryan tears down the rebound for Struthers. Into the corner, here's Trailer. 
Back out to Metzka. He can hit from way deep. When he gets an open look. Now Washington penetrates into the paint with the left hand. He put it up and in. Able to get that one soft on the glass for two. 16-13 is our score. Nice little re response, little run of their own. 5-0. Pass is intercepted by Lasko. Ahead to trailer. Ball poked free. He tracks it down. Middle of the paint. Ball is still loose. Metzka raises up from the free throw line, and it's no good. And Davis comes down to the board. Here comes Clausell. Loses the handle, takes the feed, and sticks it off the glass and in. A very heady play by Clausell. Doesn't stand when he makes the pass. Is dangerous, makes the cut. Easy layup, 11 for Clausell. 18-13 is our score. Inside of four minutes left, Ryan. And we'll have a turnover, and we'll get back to it when we come back. 18-13, Gerard leading Struthers by five on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, events and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Sherlock Holmes. There's more to this than meets the eye. Elementary, Saturdays at 9 on MyYTV. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, events and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Much history in this Tremendous building, Struthers Fieldhouse. Wildcats hooked up at a good one, trailing Girard 18-13. Say the area's best basketball players are part of WKBN Starting Five. It is sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College. Head to WKBN.com and click on Sports to see the top high school basketball players from here in the Valley. 18 13 out of the timeout, it will be the Indians with the ball. Indians taken across the time stripe into the forecourt. Connolly on the wing. Here's Glassell. Into the corner, Page raises up. It's no good. Rebound down to Kevin Trailer of Struthers. Trailer looks things over. Now it's back out to Washington, who penetrates, spins in the paint, feeds it over to Metzka for three. It's too strong. Ball is saved in by Washington. Off Plazel, very heady play. Very heady, very athletic play. Like the activity on the offensive glass, creating those extra possessions. 3.15 left. Ryan to trigger. It's into Metzka. Metzka's pass. Is deflected and comes right in our direction. Fortunately, a member of the Gerard staff with very quick reflexes. You were pretty good there too, though. You had it up. I was ready. So too is Washington. He's ready. Onto the wing. It's Ryan. Closing it on three minutes left in this first half. Washington to Lasco and now Trailer. Carson Ryan back to trailer in rhythm for three. Off the rim, no good. Good boxing out underneath by Gerard. Yeah. Nobody in a white jersey was anywhere near. Yeah, they got to try to create some possessions maybe by the offensive glass. Pay it for three. Off the rim, no good. Trailer comes down with a rebound for Struthers. Ahead to Washington for three. 
Back edge, nope. Graziano with a rebound for Gerard. Graziano up the floor, has it poked free from his grasp. He now takes it baseline, feeds it into the corner. Clausel for three. Nope, it's an air ball, and Carson Ryan ahead of the pack. Ryan to the line, Ryan to the lane, puts it up. It's no good. Both teams ice cold, shooting the basketball in recent moments. Clausel called for the offensive foul. Got the charge, got hit on the funny bone there a little bit. Right on the back, it's gonna sting. As you can see, gets the charge, gets the hop up. Number one on Quasel checking back in for Struthers is Noah Patty. And Trailer's going to take seat. Good job drawing that charge, however. And now Patty will control things at the top of the key. Over to Carson Ryan. He penetrates. Looking into the corner, but it's intercepted by Clausel of Girard. Clausel slices into the paint and pitches it back. Now up to the top of the key, it's Conley. Fast-moving first half of play, 133 and counting. Dom Melito has checked in. Here's Payich. Outside Graziano. And this is Conley. Feeding it in the middle of the paint. That went up and in. Plus the foul. Dom Melito. Great strength. He hung in there and he got the kind bounce. And just the patience right there by Gerard. Setting a few back screens, little flare screens, running their wheel, and you can see, get the shot that they want and the foul. So Melito comes in, averaging just over two points a game. That's where he's at now. He'll have a chance for a third. Trying to complete the end one. 20 to 13, free throw, good. 21-13 is our score. Ryan, onto the right side, trying to go baseline, but he's cut off. Lob underneath, Aaron pass out of bounds, back to the Indians. Maybe tried to force just a little bit too much, and sometimes you just gotta make the extra pass, get the ball reversed, get a good possession. Right now, Gerard up eight with a minute to go. Some gritty defense by Gerard. They're really working yeah, it on that side really of the are. ball. They really are. Glossel, the ball is kicked out of bounds as he was looking for Adam Conley. Struthers with a half dozen turnovers in this first half as we're inside the final minute. Quarter number two. Glossel picks up his dribble. Over to Conley, raising up for three. He's got it! Craig Hannon put his head hands on his head and said what are you doing I know no, exactly yeah, what no, you're no, doing no 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 yes 24 13 in favor of Gerard oh Prince has checked in for Struthers outside Metzka there's Washington feeding back to Metzka he tracks it down and the ball is out of bounds however it is off Gerard will Keep it right here with Struthers with 11.2 ticks left. Struthers trying to go to a little high pick and roll continuity. It's a little bit discombobulated. Ryan is the trigger man. Ball is into trailer. Down to seven seconds left. Washington for three. He's got it. Big shot for Washington. Final seconds ticking down. Long range bomb from Clausel offline. And we've played one half of basketball here at Struthers Fieldhouse. Your halftime score, Gerard 24, Struthers 16. And we'll bring you back after this. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Team of the Week. 
Shop 24-7 at StadiumGM.com where you can view the entire inventory. Everything is new and exciting at the award-winning Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Buy new roads to the area's finest selection of Chevys and enjoy great lease deals like a new 2019 Trax for as low as $164 a month. And that's with zero down. Or drive away in a new 2019 Equinox for just $213 a month with zero down. Truck buyers, stop down and see over 100 of the all-new redesigned Chevy Silverado pickups and say big. Visit us on the web at StadiumGM.com or come down to the Stadium GM Superstore in Salem and save. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria proudly supports all Valley teams this high school basketball season. Come see us for the best pizza downtown off Federal Street in Youngstown. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So I'm the lead instructor. There's a math instructor, science, and English language arts instructor. With our project-based learning, they get together, solve this problem, and it involves all of our areas. This school is divided up into different blocks, and that allows us to have a lot of flexibility. They're learning from hands-on activities. All the equipment that's in the fab lab, I haven't seen a school yet that has all of this. You can't get away from the technology. At Valley STEM, the possibilities are really endless. Turn your house into a dream home with Pebblestone. Ugly concrete? Cover it with Pebblestone. Like a beautiful stone carpet, Pebblestone is easy to clean and covers broken or pitted concrete. Installed in one day in any weather condition. Transform your messy basement or garage into a gorgeous living space. Best of all, we do all the work. From moving your items, preparing and cleaning, to installation and organization. Call today for a free steel organizational system with your purchase of a Pebblestone floor. For luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford, trust the Valley Zone Pebblestone. As a mom, you're always wondering what your kids are getting into. That's why I'm so proud to be a part of WYTV's Keeping Kids Safe. It's helpful to know what my son can be exposed to online, in the neighborhood, or in school. Every Monday at 11, 33 News will focus on issues facing our children. It's part of how 33 WYTV believes in this valley. Sponsored by Mahoning County Children's Services and Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. And welcome back to Struthers Fieldhouse where there are small rubber ducks being thrown onto the floor for a promotional competition. Fortunately, we are out of harm's way, at least for the moment. 24-16, Gerard leading Struthers, Chad Krasminski alongside Wilkusinik, an entertaining first half of play. Both teams have their chances, both teams making their runs. In that first half, you know, they got the looks that they wanted, which was enable them to get the lead that they have right now. Let's take a look back at our keys to the game, which are brought to you by our friends at the Avalon downtown. First of all, limit the looks. I'd say Gerard got some pretty good looks yeah, in that first yeah, half of play. Gerard got some pretty good looks. You know, both teams, you know, Gerard shot the ball pretty well from the outside, especially Clausel with making three of four. Uh, and then the pace, you know, we're going to see who's able to come out on top here to make sure that they're still in the race for the standings. At this early point in the season, you don't want to fall too far behind. 24-16 is our score. Those keys to the game brought to you by the Avalon downtown. When we come back, we'll halftime highlights and numbers. That comes your way next. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. For obituaries and calling hours, go to MyValleyTributes.com. Bring your family and enjoy the food, fun, and drinks at the Elmton. You won't find better service with affordable prices for the entire family anywhere else in the Valley. Serving up great food and hospitality since 1945. The Elmton, 5th Street, Struthers. I think our instructors here at Eastern Gateway, being that they come from a medical assisting background, they know what's going on currently in the field. I think we also have a very personal touch with our students. We have a cooperative learning type of environment where students interact with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis. When the students graduate from the program, they can sit for a national certification and become a certified medical assistant that is recognized in all 50 states. The Sweeney Superlot is open for business during construction. And we have hundreds of vehicles to choose from. Payments as low as $99 a month, even with no money down. Bad credit, no credit, no worries at Sweeney. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman.
Whether you are married, single, or in a relationship, dealing with life, love, and relationships can be strenuous. That's where the Warriors, Inc. Love, Life, and Relationships Enrichment Seminar can help. Sign up today. You'll learn the essential tools to produce healthy, loving relationships. February 9th at the Holiday Inn in Boardman. Package includes a continental breakfast, seminar, a dinner and dance, and live entertainment. Register today online at eventbrite.com or call by January 26th to reserve your spot today. We have something for everyone. Amazing half-off deals. Sign up now for email notifications and start saving. Bring your family and enjoy the food, fun, and drinks at the Elmton. See their Facebook page for daily specials. And be sure to try their pizza, spaghetti, and famous roasted chicken. Serving up great food and hospitality since 1945. The Elmton, 5th Street Struthers. And welcome back to Struthers Field House. We're here at halftime. It is Gerard 24 and Struthers 16. Hi again, everybody. Chad Perspinski alongside Will Klusenik. And, Will, again, it's an eight-point game, but both teams realize full well the game hanging in the balance. Yeah, you've got another half of basketball, and Struthers is going to have to come out here, get a couple good quality possessions, get some of those high-percentage shots that they got early on, you know, and try to limit some of these uncontested looks from Gerard. Let's take a look at our halftime numbers. Our halftime report is brought to you by Valley STEM Academy. Gerard shot the ball particularly well, in fact, very well, but so too did Struthers. 57%, the Indians 46.7% for the Wildcats. Again, those turnovers, very costly for Struthers in that first half. Absolutely, you know, and when you look at it, if you're Struthers, you've got to create some of those extra possessions and not have those turnovers. You can see the rebounds, you know, with Gerard, the advantage getting some of those extra possessions, steals, assists, blocks, you know, pretty even right now. The big gun for the Indians, the guy who has been stepping up in the absence of Austin O'Hara, and that's another Austin, Austin Clausell, spotting up and draining the triple from the corner. He had that shooting touch in the first half of play. On the other end, Struthers was counting on in a big way. A young man by the name of Brandon Washington, very athletic as he slices through the defense and kisses that one off the window. That was a pretty looking shot for Washington. Clausell with 11, Washington with seven. It all adds up to a 24-16 lead for Gerard over Struthers here at halftime. Third quarter action will come your way next. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. The Game of the Week Coaches Interview is sponsored by Curbstone Coaches. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Hi, Rob Bellman for Borman Subaru. We're excited about two new vehicles that have just arrived in our showroom. The 2019 Subaru Ascent, the biggest Subaru ever, with three rows of flexible seating with space for seven or eight, and the all-new 2019 Subaru Forester. New and improved with eyesight and driver-focused technology that alerts distracted drivers. And remember, Subaru is the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive vehicle in America. Only at Borman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. We are Venture Salem. We produce the fascias, trim elements, and interior plastic components used on millions of cars today. We are a great place to start building a career from the ground up as a light industrial laborer, robotics operator, team leader, and more. Begin your career with Venture Salem. Apply today at jobs.ventra.com. Venture Salem, where careers are built. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria proudly supports all Valley teams this high school basketball season. Come see us for the best pizza downtown off Federal Street in Youngstown. 2 at 11, Senator Rob Portman is in Youngstown touring a multi-million dollar piece of technology coming to the city. We'll tell you what it is and how it could change your commute. I'm tracking a quiet Friday night that changes into our Saturday. This is the storm system that I'm watching. First, it sends the clouds, and as we go through our Saturday, that snow will be moving closer to the valley. Coming up tonight at 11, I'm going to have the updated timing and track of the snow arrival, and we'll talk about how much to expect. We'll see you at 11. 
Brightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And welcome back to Struthers Fieldhouse, Girard 24, Struthers 16. As we're all set for quarter number three, Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenik. Say, tonight's WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week is being streamed live at WKBN.com and the WKBN mobile app. Make sure you download the WKBN app to watch our games all season long. And you'll also find high school scores, stories, highlights. Download the WKBN mobile app today. Starting the third quarter, it is Struthers with the basketball, and it is a very quick, prompt turnover. One second in. <laughs> As a coach, I think you just have to shake your head and be like, what just happened? Those are your two guys, Metzger and Ryan. They just kind of shook their heads as well. Clausell with the ball onto the right side. Clausell able to draw the blocking foul on Washington. So just nine seconds, and we have our first foul of this third quarter. And that is number two on Washington. And a little body just a little too close. Into the corner. Panch is rejected, but it ends up back in his hands. At the top of the key, Graziana spinning free. And Conley tracks down the loose basketball. Conley picks up his dribble. Works it out to Clausell, just inside that three-point line. He knocked in another. Real smooth, Chad. Very patient. You know, understands how to play offense. Doesn't force things. Just takes what the defense is giving him. That's 13 on a night for him. Clausell with a steal. He's to the line. He's to the lane, and he put it up and in. Make it 15, Chad. Timeout on the floor. Exactly the kind of start that Craig Hannon wanted for his Girard Indians who have opened up a 12-point lead. Clausell getting it done the entire night. Defense leading to offense, leading to the run out, Chad. You know, playing the passing lanes and doing it all right now. Defense inside out. And that's the leadership we talked about when you lose a guy like O'Hara. And you can see shooting a very high percentage, you know, and that's what they need. And Jardin is doing a great job here to start the second half. 15 points already for Clausell. And as we just saw, getting it done on the defensive side. And boy, has he had that sharp shooting ability from the outside working as well. Uh, you can see, you know, uh, O'Hara at the end there in, in the wheelchair. Um, yeah, just it always got the smile on his face. Does, it, does a uh, great job still supporting these guys. Um, yeah, like you said before, great family, Brian O'Hara, you know, longtime coach, you know, his brother playing at Westminster, just a tremendous family. Yeah, and Austin, as I look straight down from where we are, he's in the wheelchair right near the water cooler by the Gerard bench. It's good to see him here supporting Absolutely. his teammates, and he wouldn't have it any other way. Yep. This is Ryan over to Metzka. Cut off just inside the free throw line. Brandon Washington thought about a long three. A minute into this third quarter, Washington nearly walked. Now Lasko to Washington. Washington around a screen is picked up. Washington into the paint, scoops it up with the left hand. That time it was short off the front edge, and Clausell ends up with it for Gerard. Right down Broadway, shot blocked by Lasko. Clausell still putting the heat on the Wildcats, looking to attack. We'll stay right here. Conley, the trigger man. For the Graziano, skip past Clausell. Thought about the three, now goes off the dribble. And Clausell. Back to Graziano. Again, very, very patient approach for Gerard. The Indians lead it by a dozen. Pitch. Now Davis. Uh, just great motion right here. You can see just getting some open looks. You know, guys wheeling, guys cutting, guys filling. 
Wassell off the mark. Kevin Trailer walked with the basketball. And the turnover gives it right back to Gerard. You know, right now, Struthers not doing anything easy. You know, sometimes it's just making the easy pass, the easy decision, the extra pass, you know, to you kind of find that rhythm right now. As you can see, just really in a funk on the offensive end. Russell. Over to Conley. Three ball from the court. And good, and Pants drilled another. And Gerard firing on all cylinders, making that extra pass and finding the open man. Timeout on the floor, called by Mike Wernicke. We will keep it here. And it's 31-16, Indians leading the Wildcats. This has been an impressive performance for Craig Hannon's group. Craig Hannon, you know, he's got these guys playing very confident. And the big thing is they're playing unselfish on offense, you know, not forcing anything. And you can see right there, just a quick zip, extra pass, pay it to the corner. And, and that's what you'd like to see, the ball zipping around the perimeter, finding the open man. 31-16. Indians starting to pull away now. You know, you can just look at the body language of, of the Struthers Wildcats right now. And, and this is where you need the leadership from some of your older guys to, to say, okay, let's get done. Let's, let's get a great possession here. But they can't capitalize. Lid on the rim there. Graziano up the floor to the line, to the lane. Puts it up and in with the left hand. And they're just beating Struthers down the floor right now. 33-16, Carson Ryan knocks down a jumper from the free throw line. And this is definitely, you know, we've done a couple Struthers games. This is definitely the quietest he's been, and he's only got four points on a night. 33-18, up at the top of the key, it's Conley. Rossell, around to the right side. Great look for Davis in the middle of the paint. He put it off the window and in. Bozell running circles around guys, finding his open teammate. 35-18 inside of four and a half to play. Lasko topside. Metzka for three off the rim, and it falls off. The rim just doesn't seem to like the Wildcats here tonight. As they have good looks, but they're just not dropping in. But the ball is out of bounds. And we'll keep it right here. And if you're Struthers, it's one possession at a time. You know, get yourself to the free throw line. Get some high percentage shots. That's a high percentage shot. Carson Ryan puts it in. Plus the foul to go along with it. He's up to six points now. And it's a 15-point contest at 35-20. And, and that's what you need, you know. You gotta get those easy looks, get some layups, get some free throws, build some of that confidence, you know, and then get some stops defensively. Carson Ryan unable to knock it in. There's a jump ball called, and the possession arrow is going to give it to Gerard with 4-11 left to play. You know, the big thing with Struthers right now, they've gotta work at the defensive end here, do some of the tough stuff down at this end, get some stops to build up some of this momentum. Rossell brings it across. Rossell penetrates into the paint, and he puts it up and in! Rossell putting people on the spin cycle. 37-20 is our score. Brandon Washington on the right wing puts that one up. It's a little bit too short. Payets tears down the rebound for Gerard. Rossell ahead of the pack, spins in the paint again. Great quickness! And the shot is blocked, and Carson Ryan stared him down. And now tempers are starting to flare just a bit. And with that, the officials and coaches will try to get things in order. And we will take a timeout as you take a look at Ryan. Ryan up Clausel, those two. Going at it all night. 37-20. We'll take a timeout and bring you back after this. 
of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the High School Football Game of the Week. Everything is new and exciting at the award-winning Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Find new roads to the area's finest selection of Chevys and enjoy great lease deals like a new 2019 Trax for as low as $164 a month. And that's with zero down. Or drive away in a new 2019 Equinox for just $213 a month with zero down. Truck buyers, stop down and see over 100 of the all-new redesigned Chevy Silverado pickups and save big. Visit us on the web at StadiumGM.com or come down to the Stadium GM Superstore in Salem and save. Turn your house into a dream home with Pebblestone. Ugly concrete? Cover it with Pebblestone. Like a beautiful stone carpet, Pebblestone is easy to clean and covers broken or pitted concrete. Installed in one day in any weather condition. Transform your messy basement or garage into a gorgeous living space. Best of all, we do all the work. From moving your items, preparing and cleaning, to installation and organization. Call today for a free steel organizational system with your purchase of a Pebblestone floor. For luxury stone flooring that everyone can afford, trust the Valley Zone Pebblestone. How I Met Your Mother has just what you've been craving. My God, some of these drinks could actually make a girl smarter. How I Met Your Mother. Weekdays at 4 on My YTV. Cooler heads have prevailed as we welcome you back. Third quarter action, 338 left to play. Now here's Clausel racing into the paint off balance. And he put it up and in. And he had a few choice words at the tail end, as you see. Ryan had a little smile for him, a little wry smile. When you're playing well, you, know, you gotta, gotta be able to back it up, but he's doing it right now. Clausel thought about another triple try, and now elects to pull it back out front. Now, Clausel right now is 17, Chad. And counting. Back to Connolly. Graziano. These Indians love the spin with the ball. That's going to be interesting here. You know, Gerard's going to be pretty content here to, to milk a little clock unless they turn it over. Which they do promptly. And it's back to Struthers with 3.07 left. Ryan with the ball. Onto the wing, Washington, who goes baseline, and there's. A foul on the floor, a block called against Gerard. I think it's Davis. It is. And that is his second. Carson Ryan to inbound. Ryan looking. Looking. Into trailer. There's a steal by Clausel. Clausel races ahead. Clausel scoops it up and won't go. Almost had an and one there. He's pretty electric. He gets down the floor quickly. It puts a lot of pressure on you. And that's going to be the second on, on Trey Metzka. You can see the theft by Clausel. A little behind the back. A little flash. No one stops the ball. Comes right into your kitchen. Great job by Clausel initiating the action. Free throw is up and no good. As Clausel is a 63.8% free throw shooter, he comes in averaging nearly 16 points a game. And he puts in another. And the free throw is good, and after the free throw make, it's a foul called on Davis. That'll be his third for Gerard. And that's the third team foul. So the physicality has increased in the third quarter. It's increased, but there's also a right way to do it. Yep. You know, you've got to make sure that you, you're, you're playing physical, you're, you're strong, you know, but you don't want to be dirty. Trailer into the paint, puts it up and in. The trailer getting to the glass, high percentage shot. There's Clausel, and it's off Clausel. Out of bounds. He thought he was fouled. But a good call by Rob Lucklin. Yeah, Rob is one of the best in the business. Yes, he is. You know, not only is he a great official, you know, he talks to these coaches, you know, and, and he's not a, 
not afraid to have a discussion with you. Outstanding job. Does a great job in the uh, Proko Leagues in the mornings as well. I'll see him tomorrow morning officiating my game. Brandon Washington short of the triple try. Off the fingertips of Carson Ryan. And it's tracked down by Conley. And there's a Struthers foul called on Trailer, I believe. And you can see, you know, the intensity, a little bit of the energy level from Struthers has picked up a little bit. You know, and again, they have to work defensively here you know, to try to, you know, make it a little bit more difficult here for Girard right now. Second foul on Trailer, Indian basketball. This is Dom Melito who's checked back in. Over to Connolly. He'll bounce it over to Pitch. Page slices his way into the lane, into the corner. Conley for three, around, and it comes out. Lasco with a rebound ahead to Trailer. Trailer gives to Ryan, jump stop, up off the rim, no good. Tap into the hands of guess who? Clausel. Clausel to the line, Clausel to the lane, works it underneath Page, who tracks it down and sticks it in. Clausel maybe delivered that a little bit too late, but Page, excellent job of gathering himself and not panicking, and gets the finish. 10 points for Payich. Into the corner of the far side, triple try, trying to answer, courtesy of Trailer, it's no good. Again, kind of a settle right there. A little bit of a contested three. Coach Hannon wants a timeout to talk about it. So timeout on the floor, we'll keep it here with 59 seconds left. Gerard coming into this one with a record of six and three. Struthers coming into this one with a record of four and five. This Gerard program has been tremendous over the last seven years. The Indians have not had a losing season in seven years. But they came into this one having lost three of the last four since they started red hot at five and oh, which included the game that we did over at Poland in the United Way Classic, a four-point win over Boardman. And, and you know what's going to have the problem there, you know, with, with um, O'Hara going out, you, you kind of had to reestablish some roles there, uh, and it looks like they're starting to do that and establishing some of that here tonight. Of course, this is the first meeting of what will be two meetings. They'll face off again on the 8th of next month as Graziano has it out to Clausel. And there could potentially be, as the defensive pressure has ratcheted up for Struthers, as Carson Ryan is called for the reach. Coming up after tonight's game, we'll have an interview with our winning head coach. Our Game of the Week coaches interview is sponsored by our friends with the Curbstone Coaches. Much thanks for their support. All season long. We're inside of 30 seconds. And we talked about this being the first meeting of what will be two meetings. One next month and perhaps a third meeting in tournament play coming up. When the postseason rolls around, they're both in that Boardman district. And that district is loaded. You aren't kidding. Down to four seconds, now three, over to Clausel, looking for the exclamation point, it's an air ball, but we've played three quarters of basketball here at Struthers Fieldhouse, Gerard 40, Struthers 22, quarter number four follows these words, you're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GM, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So I'm the lead instructor. There's a math instructor, science, and English language arts instructor. With our project-based learning, they get together, solve this problem, and it involves all of our areas. This school is divided up into different blocks, and that allows us to have a lot of flexibility. they are learning from hands-on activities. All the equipment that's in the fab lab, I haven't seen a school yet that has all of this. You can't get away from the technology. At Valley STEM, the possibilities are really endless. Been watching Daybreak, 
for 23 years now. Get the information that you need. A way that I, I feel good about my day. But it also makes me smile. I love the weather. And I get excited if it's, you know, thunderstorms coming. I like to know by hour since I'm in Ohio. It, it's not only informative, but it's entertaining. And that's what keeps me watching. Watch weekday mornings starting at 5 a.m. on WYTV. They make the community a better place. They give their time, their energy. It's their love for others that sets them apart. They're your hometown heroes. And at 33 WYTV, we want to honor those who stand out. Go to WYTV.com and click on Hometown Hero under the Community tab to enter a nomination. We'll introduce you to a new Hometown Hero every Wednesday at 6 on WYTV. Hometown Heroes, sponsored by Window World. WYTV.com, your pinpoint forecast, the very latest news from across the community, and breaking stories, your home for community news. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. Craig Hannon's Gerard Indians here tonight. They're eight minutes away from picking up win number seven of the season. Chad Perspinski, Will Klusenik back with you. Indians 40, Wildcats 22. Back inside, historic Struthers Fieldhouse. Carson Ryan, top of the key, three ball in the air, way offline. Davis with the rebound for Gerard. And we have a foul on Struthers. Kevin Trailer. That's number three on Trailer. And that is team foul number five on Struthers. Wildcats just look a little bit out of sorts, Chad. Flossell, down to the right side, is Graziano. You can run a little scoop right here, get a little kick, ball. Metzka with a steal, Metzka to the line, to the lane, shot blocked. Carson Ryan cleans it up, puts it in, plus the foul. Now Ryan able to stay with it. And you can see a little, uh, actually that was not a kick ball. That was not a kickball. No. And you can see Metzka coming down. And Carson Ryan stays with it you know, and gets the shot. I'll tell you what, that was so close, and that's why it's good to have a replay like that, because it did look like it was a kickball, and I don't know how it wasn't a kickball, but it wasn't. Off the missed free throw, Payich comes down with a rebound. And now Graziano. Ahead to Clausel, all alone. Conley put it in! Gerard Indians and Clausel have all the answers right now. Carson Ryan taking matters into his own hands. And he is fouled and will go to the line and shoot two. And this is the way they're going to try to get back into this. Get some free throws, get some points while the clock is stopped. Again, Gerard, you know, scoring easily down at the other end. Uh, but again, the, the clock is what you're looking at here right now. Get some movement, making sure you're making difficult shots here for Struthers. Carson Ryan puts it up, and it is no good. It stays 42-24. Ryan trying to split the pair, and he does. 42-25 in favor of the Indians. Here's Conley into the corner. Clausel for three. That time he was short. Graziano comes up with the offensive rebound, however. Graziano whips it over to Clausel. Clausel takes it baseline, feeds it into the corner. Conley, and now back out front to Graziano. And Gerard doesn't need to be in any hurry, but they got to take care of the basketball. Metzka comes up with another steal into the hands of Trailer. Trailer has his pocket picked. Graziano and the Indians have numbers, and he puts it up, and he is fouled. You know, right now the Wildcats, you know, looking for answers from the officials. Sometimes you've just got to be able to play through the contact uh, and keep playing. And you can see Graziano does just that. He knows the contact's coming from Washington, and he's going to the line. Graziano, very athletic player. 
has a reputation for being a little bit of a streaky shooter, but he can get to the rim as he just showed us there. It brings that element of athleticism and also brings a very familiar name in Gerard's yeah. sports circles. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, you, you look around, we, we talked about before in the stands, the names. Uh, again, they seem to repeat, reload, and be just as good as the next. 44-25 in favor of Gerard. Here's Brandon Washington, long three, up no good. Rebound trailer. Trailer takes it baseline and puts it in. And he hit the deck, and Mike Wernicke is looking for a foul. Struthers thinks they're getting knocked around a little bit. Pass is intercepted by Trailer. Down the floor comes Trailer. Ball is saved in off the steal, and it ends up with Clausel. Someone's going to get poked with a T here eventually. Temper's starting to flare. Bodies flying every which way. It ends up in the hands of Trailer, who fires for three, and he knocked it down. After all of that, 543 left to play here in the game. And just like that, it's 44-30. Gerard's lead is cut to 14. You know, and, and the thing is, we've got a lot of lot of things going on. There's a lot of reaching, grabbing, clutching, fouling on both ends of the floor. You know, and, and you've got to understand that this is going to happen. You know, Struthers trying to fight back into this game, and, and they're going to take some chances. They're going to take some risks. You know, and you can see a great job of getting your feet set, knocking it down by trailer. You know, they're going to try to take some gambles, you know, and, and take some liberties and, and, and see if the official is going to make some of these calls. All of a sudden, you get a little scrum for the ball, and and all of a sudden, there's a little bit more energy here from the Struthers side because yeah. yeah. guys are laying it on the line, so you have to like the, the fight for Mike Wernicke's team. You know, and, and we're lucky, Check, we have the replay uh, and we're able to take a look at it, and you can see as he's coming to, uh, gets whacked right in the face. You know, gets whacked right in the face, probably should have been called, but again, it's one of these where you've got to play on. You can't let the emotions get the best of you. And you can't dwell. And you can't dwell on it. You know, I, when I was coaching Chad, that was one of the best things that one official, Sue Manning, told me. She said, Sue Manning, I just, what are you going to do, dwell on it? I, I didn't have a response, Chad. I said, I, I guess not. <laughs> Clausel with the ball, and he is swarmed upon, and it works its way over to Graziano, who is fouled, and it's a foul call on Carson Ryan. It's number two on Ryan, and it's going to send Graziano to the free throw line. Graziano at the moment has four points. It's two for two from the stripe, and it's up and good. Back just to a 15-point lead. Just steady, Chad Graziano. You know, you know, just very fundamental, very technical, just, just kind of very workmanlike uh, at the game. Second free throw rattles through. 46 to 30 is our score as Carson Ryan pitches it back to Trailer. Now three ball in the air from Ryan, and it's no good, and it's out of bounds, and we'll stay here. And Struthers is going to have to make some shots, you know, and, and get some stops. Brandon Washington back to Ryan in rhythm for three off the back edge. No good. Ball's out of bounds in that time. It'll go to the folks in red. The area's best basketball players are part of WKBN starting five. It's sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College. Head to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school basketball players in the Valley. Got a foul there. And it's called on Carson Ryan on the inbounds. Yeah, a little push off. It's going to send Graziano back to the line for Gerard. And Graziano has a half dozen. Down to 5.08 left. And that's the best advice right there from Coach Hannon. 
Guys, just play basketball. And that's what you've got to focus on. You've got five minutes and eight seconds left here to play some basketball. Graziano drills another. Greg Hannon still coaching him up. Brandon Washington takes it baseline. He stops, gathers. It's no good. It's out of bounds. It stays here. I really thought you weren't allowed to have noisemakers in the stands. Got the, the thunder sticks. Yeah, there's some of the folks too. You're right. But that was not allowed. Kevin Trailer for three. Too strong. It's claimed up by Ryan. And he put it up. And it was fouled. And that foul will be called on Gerard's Dom Melito. It's his first. Carson Ryan will go to the line. And Ryan tries to get into double figures. Comes in averaging 17 points a game. 65% free throw shooter is Ryan. And we have a timeout. We'll keep it here. Comes with just under five minutes left to play. Every week we'll pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact during our game of the week. Player of the game is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Pebblestone Flooring. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 6 on WKBN 27 First News. As we get a little further into the season, it's always fun to take a look back when you go to WKBN.com and you click on Game of the Week under Sports, and you can take a look at who all the various players of the game through the season. It's always neat to go back and see who had big monster performances and during our telecasts it's been a lot of fun you know and, and the live broadcast you know no matter where i go you know it's just different games in the area you know how appreciative people are of these live broadcasts you know, and, and be able to get to watch these at seven and then when they do miss it watch the replay the following day uh people in the valley really appreciate this and of course the games are also posted in their entirety WKBM.com. You want to go back and take a look, and I know there are some coaches who go back yes. and get a free and easy scouting report from, from our games from time to time as Ryan puts the free throw up. It's short. The ball is out of bounds. And it'll go to Girard. 451 left. Conley to trigger. It's into Graziano, baseball pass ahead of the pack. Clausel behind the back, feeding it underneath. Payich is fouled. A lot of ball. Looks like it may be a jump ball, but a foul was called. And we're going to get a look at it here again. You Clausel. make the call. You know, again, there's probably going to be some contact. Uh, I would take that as a jump ball. But we have the benefit. Of replay, of we do. Replay. So here is Payich. He's had a very effective night. Unable to knock the free throw in. And it is a two shot foul. So Payich will try for point number 11. Ready, aim, fire, good. Davis back in for the Indians and sitting down is Dom Melito. Wildcats bring it across. It's Brandon Washington over to Trailer. Trailer scoops it up off the rim and he will now head to the free throw line. It's Graziano picking up the personal foul. We'll see Struthers start to go to the bench now. Trailer, very athletic, good-looking player. Yeah, he's able to do it inside and out, gets to the rim very effectively. Trailer, no good. 
Triller in double figures with 10. Keaton Kimball has checked in for Struthers. Also into the lineup, Ronnie Leonard. Subbing some guys for defensive purposes. Trailer trying to split the pair. He puts the free throw up, and it's good. Austin Maynard into the lineup. Trailer sits down. Conley to trigger. It's into Clausell. Indians break the press. Great pass. Pay. It puts it up and in. Clausell, another assist. Great decision. Textbook fast break. 20 point lead for Gerard. Onto the wing, it's Austin Maynard. Now you look at this Gerard team, Chad. You know, and, and when they had O'Hara and they beat Boardman, who's a very good team, and you could see as you get the tie up here right now, getting good sportsmanship right there uh, of helping them out by Kimball. Mass substitutions coming. Jump ball was called. It'll belong to Gerard with 4.05 left. And so you got a Gerard team here that's got a lot of pieces as well. You're right. You know, and, and again, they were very dangerous when we saw them early on. But again, starting to develop. Uh, some guys got to develop some larger roles now. Graziano has it back to Conley as he'll race it up the floor. Conley feeds it into the corner, but the pass is intercepted. This is Brandon Washington feeding Lasko up. No good. But he will go to the line and shoot two. With 3.54 left to play. And with that, we will take timeout. 20-point lead for Gerard over Struthers. We'll have the final 3.54 after this. We'll keep it here for the free throw. I think we'll take the break right after the free throw. Free throw up. Free throw good. They jump the gun. And now we will take the timeout. 3.54 left. The conclusion comes your way next of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. Bring your family and enjoy the food, fun, and drinks at the Elmton. You won't find better service with affordable prices for the entire family anywhere else in the valley. Serving up great food and hospitality since 1945. The Elmton, 5th Street, Struthers. Every day, they protect their city and their family. We'll always have each other's back. Always. Let's go to work. Now, five days a week. Hey, it's okay. You're safe now. These are their stories. Police standing next to you are your family. And to me, there's nothing more important. Chicago PD. Weekdays at 3 on MyYTV. Sherlock Holmes. There's more to this than meets the eye. Elementary. Saturdays at 9 on MyYTV. Bring your family and enjoy the food, fun, and drinks at the Elmton. See their Facebook page for daily specials. And be sure to try their pizza, spaghetti, and famous roasted chicken. Serving up great food and hospitality since 1945. The Elmton, 5th Street Struthers. Gerard Indians. Three minutes and 54 seconds away from improving to 7-3 and three on this season. Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenik back with you. It is 51-33. Out of the timeout, Gerard basketball, full court pressure from Struthers. Baseball pass deep down the floor. It is off the fingertips of I'm Austin Clausell. I'm not sure that's what Coach Hannon drew up. As he just said, you know, we're up here, let's run some clock, let's, let's be patient. I don't think that's what he had in mind. Well, I think he made a very emphatic no. He it, said no. He so said, I don't think he wanted that. No. He said don't foul. He said 
keep the clock running. Uh, I'd like to revisit that timeout with him. I don't think there was much uh, that they did there. So there's Carson Ryan stepping back to the line. It's 51-33, and it'll stay that way. We're down to 348 left. Ryan, ready, aim, fire, good. 51-34. Ten points for Carson Ryan. It's been a quiet ten points, however. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a foul called on Kevin Trailer of Struthers. That'll be his fourth. So back down to the other end, we will travel. As Gerard will shoot free throws once again. Gerard is a team shooting free throws at a clip of 64.2 percent that's pretty good yeah clausel's two or three on a night he's helping that cause is clausel and he needs one more for 20. he's pretty much hit anything he's thrown up but not that time so here's Washington over to Metzka. Here's Ryan. Top side, Washington for three. Back edge, nope. Last call with the offensive board, and he fights it up and in. There's a little bit of activity trying to create. Get some turnovers here. Clausel breaks the press and pitches it back out front. They work it to Graziano, who thought about a three. I think they're going to be a little bit patient here, Chad. 52-36. Pitch. And that's Kevin Trailer. And his night is now complete. So Kevin Trailer will sit down. 11 points. For Trailer. And he will be replaced by Ronnie Leonard. So Clausel will get another opportunity for his 20th point. And he puts it up. And he misses. So he has one more opportunity. Austin Clausell, what a night. 20 points for Clausell, the senior guard. Back to the other end, Brandon Washington scoops it up. And it hits off the rim and it's no good. Clausell controls once again. He's very active on both sides of the ball as Brandon Washington comes up with a steal and is called for the foul. So back to the line, we'll head Clausell. There was a lot of leather. A lot of leather. So Clausell will now go for point number 21 and 22. And he'll stay at 20 for the moment. Remains 53-36. Marcel knocks it in. Craig Hannon will take a timeout. And it comes with 2.49 left to play. Well, we have this opportunity. Of course, we'll be back with you next week. We'll announce where we're headed coming up Monday night at 6 o'clock on WKBN 27 First News. And we'll also have all the specifics online at WKBN.com. I can tell you we will have both a girls game and a boys game next week. And what we're looking forward to, which should be a very fun next couple of months. As we showcase some of the top players, some of the top teams from week to week. But two games on deck next week. 
We'll make those announcements coming up Monday at 6 on WKBN 27 First News and WKBN.com. And do yourself a favor, if you haven't downloaded the app, do so. We'll have all the latest scores, highlights, and the whole rest of the gamut on there as well. As now we'll see some mass substitutions reporting to the scorer's table. In the game that is out of reach. From the left wing, three ball up and good for Austin Maynard. It's nice to see some of these guys get in here. They're working hard all week. A little time on Friday night. Ball in the hands of Conley as the Indians will just run some clock and now a timeout call just for substitution purposes. And all the frontliners will have a seat. Big night for Austin Clausel. He had 21 points to lead the way for Gerard. It's updated on who has checked in. Ben Blues is in. Now Dom Melito with the ball. And it's back out front to Blues. Blues just a sophomore. Nick Bonamaze is in as well. As we're inside the final two minutes. Marco Donatelli has checked in. And Brandon Bowman in for Gerard as well. On well, the other end, we've got Brandon Serrano. Three ball up, no good. Rebound to Brandon Serrano. Quickly race it up the floor. Off the dribble. There's Leonard. Able to draw the contact and the foul. Keaton Kimball is back in. Leonard, just a freshman. And his brother's looking for big things from him. No doubt. Next couple years. Leonard. Southpaw. Puts it up, no good. Is it me, or have we seen a lot of left-handed players this year so far? We have. Gerard has been tremendous at the free throw line tonight. Struthers just under 39%. Leonard. This is the second one, but Serrano with a rebound. And Serrano puts that one up. It's knocked out of bounds. It'll go back to Gerard with 116 left. Of course, the Northeast 8 Conference standings coming into this one. Poland atop at 3-0. Lakeview's had a great season thus far at 3-1. That's where you find Girard at 2-2, then South Range at 2-2, Struthers at 1-2. So this is a big win for Girard. Off the glass and in for Marco Donatelli. Inside of 50 seconds left to play. Colin Ryan is in for Struthers as well. There's Jacob Ryan. Serrano hoists up the three. No good. We're down to 30 seconds left. And you'd imagine that the Indians swing it around. Right side, three ball up, no good. Struthers comes down with the rebound and it's off the dribble for Anthony Smith. Right wing, Jacob Ryan up no good. A rebound down to Marco Donatelli in the final seconds. Will tick on down. Final score in this one here on this Friday night. Gerard 56, Struthers 39. Our postgame festivities will begin when we come back. You're watching the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Shop 24-7 at StadiumGM.com where you can view the entire inventory. 